Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of STEM Talks with Leaders. I am your host Bhuvan Verma. This is a special recording made by India STEM Foundation to share knowledges of industry leaders with our constituents, our students. Students, as you are aware, there are many inequalities that we need to overcome. One of these is that our GEMS girls, who, girls pursuing STEM make up for only 28% of the talent work streams related to science, technology, engineering, and maths. Our guest speaker today is a role model who's broken this mold and made her name in the ecosystem. She leads many by example. Please put your hands together to welcome our very special guest, Gopi Behel, a true example for, of a woman leader in the corporate world. She is Associate Director, Head of Technology for Commodities, Global Market and Macquarie Capital, Macquarie India. Hello, Gopi. How are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, uh, Bhuvan. What a warm welcome. And I'm so happy to be addressing wonderful young people here. Uh, thank you for having me here. This is among my favorite things to do. Uh, let me introduce myself. So my name is Gopi and I am from Ranchi. Ranchi is a beautiful small town. It is tucked away in the lush greenery of Eastern India, uh, where I grew up. And I grew up in a business family, so I'm the very first engineer from my family. All right. Um, I did my BE in computer science from Birla Institute of Technology, Mesra. And I have been in the industry for about 20 years. Of those 20 years, I have worked with Macquarie for more than a decade. So more than half my career has been here. And I've been navigating through different roles and supporting different businesses, uh, constantly learning through the journey. So I enjoy each career experience, uh, but I also try to pay it forward to the next generation of leaders and tech enthusiasts. And I'm doing my bit to build an enriched and diverse workforce. And you're helping with that. So thank you. Yes. Yahoo. All right, then diving straight into our questions. Our students are very curious to know, Gopi, why are industry leaders so interested in STEM and STEAM education? Right. So see, uh, Bhuvan, STEM education is important to build the workforce of the future, right? Uh, people who are ready to take on challenges in line with the ever-changing world, right? And thrive independently. Uh, my focus is to motivate girls to see STEM as a real and easy, easily doable education and career option. Because it is an area where, uh, you know, it, there's good culture, there is creativity, there's attention to detail. And as one develops, it's a win-win situation for the individual. It is also a win-win situation for the industry. Women in tech are uh, not only successful and good role models, which, you know, you yourself mentioned, but also very empowered and lead to empowered and fair and equal families and a society, uh, which I think is free from uh, uh, biases and it's free and open and thought process, which in turn gives the subsequent generations um, a much stronger launch pad to go upwards and onwards. So I think that, that that's really my driver. Excellent, excellent, absolutely. And our girl constituents, our girl students, our girl entrepreneurs and innovators are all listening to you with great intent. And they also want to know from you how important is hands-on training for school students? Right, so uh, life is a series of practical situations, right? And how we deal with them. So to me, getting theory is an important start. But it's just the first step. It has to be backed by real life situations uh, and sound decision making in circumstances. You know, that thrive makes people thrive. So giving student hands on opportunities, I think, is required to give them confidence close to real world situations and experiences as well as challenges. And this will help them build teamwork, which is also the essence to success. 
Absolutely, absolutely. So students, I hope you are taking notes because it is very important to gain confidence through challenges, by overcoming challenges. Wow, uh, what a beautiful tip you've shared with our students. Okay, to my next question to you, Gopi, can you tell our students one myth or misconception around STEM that you uh, heard from students that you interact with? Hmm. Boys are better at tech than girls. <laughs> <laughs> Tech is gender <laughs> agnostic and a diverse team is like, you know, it's like the festival of Holi. Every color adds vibrancy, beauty and meaning to the overall essence of the festival. I mean, we can't imagine playing Holi with just one color or That's a rainbow it. which is just yellow. Yes, yes. Huh? So students, STEM is gender agnostic. It's a very important expression that Gopi has shared. I hope you are taking notes and you will Google it afterwards also. Okay, <laughs> Gopi to my next question then. Can you share with our students one subject, topic, activity that you have done by self-learning? Sure. Sure. So see, uh, Bhuvan, uh, tech is uh, often thought of as being all about coding, but actually it's not all about coding, right? And that, that's probably a second misconception that I'll, I'll address here. Uh, for example, um, you know, uh, 18 years into the industry and I, uh, about two years ago when uh, I, I did my Scrum Master certification uh, because I wanted to learn. And I also did my AWS cloud certification and I enjoyed doing them thoroughly. So, so you know, and those were very different experiences and very, very enriching. Certainly, certainly two very uh, important areas which are emerging and which can be self-learned scrum and, uh, you know, cloud, uh, how to manage cloud, how to understand cloud. Wow, these, these are all cutting edge upcoming themes that our students are really interested in. Okay, to my next question to you then, uh, uh, can you tell our students which is that one STEM skill that you will learn for the first city on Mars? Um, repairing a broken internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is really important. Connectivity will certainly be a very important. Telecommunication will be very important while we are exploring life on Mars or settling life on Mars. And communication and personal, uh, you know, interactions is very important as well. The, you know, humanity spells with community and community only exists because of dialogue and discussion and communication. Very important, yes. Okay, to my next question. Gopi, you lead teams so large and, you know, so diverse in their uh, occupation and outputs. Can you tell our students what is that one must attribute of a team player that you always encourage and espouse? Yes, I believe we are a web. We're all connected, right? Like a web, we go up together and we go down together as well, right? So it is very important to share, to care, to collaborate and to enjoy coexistence, right? Certainly, certainly. To me, that's, that is the my one mantra that has really worked. I hope students you are taking notes because this mantra had many tenets that you will find important and relevant while you are doing team activities yourself at STEM labs. Okay, to my next questions, my students are very curious to know uh, what is that one favorite equation formula of code that Gopi has and why? I'll use one that they must be using every day that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The eternal law of karma, I think, you know, that's that's the one that I would, if, if you ask me to choose one. Excellent, excellent. All right. So, uh, Gopi, uh, while our students are learning a lot of new things that you are sharing with us, you know, your philosophies, your mantras, they are also curious to know what will you do, one intervention that you will undertake for your hometown, Ranchi. Ranchi which has a lot of good schools and colleges, right? Yeah. But job prospects, they are better in the bigger cities. So that causes people like us to move and in search of jobs. I would really love to see companies set up offices in the tier two and tier three cities in India and give our young workforce an option to stay in these cities and then groom these cities to make them world-class. Wow. 
Wow, beautiful. And and your narrative of you know how we must localize businesses also in remote rural areas reminds me of Hazari Bagh when I used to visit there. And the city's name itself is so inspiring. It is a city of thousand gardens. Exactly. And I hope that model and Ranchi model are replicated across India and you know take us to the future. All right. Okay. <laughs> to my next question. So much talent in uh, you know our cities and towns and all over so so why yes. limit it you know why are we creating limits for ourselves wah, wah. don't create limits student go ahead and ask questions even for things that you do not know that is how you will acquire even more all right so uh, uh gopi to my next question you know our students are very curious to know are you carrying a book around with you these days are you reading a book yourself these days Yes. So I'm reading a book called Can I Have It All? It's a book by a lady called Anuranjita Kumar. This is my favorite, all-time favorite, because it's about women and it's about choices, experiences, and options. And I love the name, Can I Have It All? And I think the answer is yes. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. And for our students, I hope you've taken down the name of the book. It is called Can I Have It All? And I hope you get it on Google or Amazon. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing the title of the book with us. Uh, Gopi, we thank you uh, for, uh, you know, sharing your invaluable insights and experiences to guide our students. Our labs are accessed by individuals and communities with low level of literacy and help them show showcase their skills using 21st century tools and technologies. We reduce inequalities of knowledge by creating healthy learning behavior through sessions like today. Robo Shiksha Kendra facilitators show STEM talks to students before they start their class to help them build their integrated understanding of knowledges. Our students build with tools, technologies, temperament, and umpteen opportunities using the STEM way of thinking. We thank our viewers for sharing this video with their parents and peers. And until next time, namaste.